The Bush Banner is a secondary weapon for the soldier, and is the second most used banner item, right behind the Conjurer, and ahead of the battalion's backup. The Bush Banner was first introduced in the War Update in 2009, and has never received any major changes in the 8 years it has been in the game. The only difference between the release banner and the current banner is that rage generation has been buffed and the duration was nerfed from 14 seconds to 10 seconds. The Bush banner has always been viewed as a weapon used by soldiers who don't need a shotgun, and would rather support their teammates with powerful buffs, much like the other two banners. I'm going to go over what the mechanics and stats of the buff banner are, and how you should use it to attract every medic girlfriend within a 12 square mile radius, and also carry your team of small children to victory. If you are still watching, and haven't turned the video off, because of the text to speech yet, you should be able to see, that the buff banner provides a buff that causes nearby team members, to do many crits once sufficient rage has been built up. Rage for the buff banner requires 600 damage, to be dealt to enemy mouth breathers, and this damage can be dealt from anything, as long as it isn't the rocket jumper. Yes, this includes the mean spoon, so if you're confident in your trollger abilities you can generate rage with that. Once you have rage, you can pull the bugle out, and dedicate 3 seconds of your life, to thank Mr. Skeletal for good bones and calcium, and then you have about 10 seconds. To go fuck up those three heavies on the payload cart, so your team actually has a chance of setting up defenses. Keep in mind, that the buff banner has a 450 hammer unit range, which is about 28 feet, or 8.5 meters, if you're an inferior European. Now that you know the stats and mechanics of this backpack and bugle that should be playing Reveille instead of being used as a carrying tool, how do you actually use it? The Bush Banner is the best banner for general use on attack and defense, unlike the Conjurer which most soldiers use as a crutch with the black box and a medic up their arsehole, or the battalion's backup, which is far more defense and anti-sentry oriented. The Bush Banner provides teammates within a 28 foot radius mini crits, which are extremely useful in any situation. The mini crit boost can be used to clear out a heavily defended area and break through to capture a point, provided there are no sentries nearby. The Bush Banner can also be used to shut down a team pushing with a medic, as the mini crit boost it provides to teammates can devastate everyone on the pushing team, who is not under the effects of the vaccinator or the stock uber charge. Be wary, though, as the Bush Banner has no effect on people with the battalion's backup effect active, or the vaccinator uber charge. It also has no effect on sentries, since sentries are not affected by critical hits, be they full crits or mini crits. An ideal time to use the buff banner on your team, is when there is a friendly medic using stock or the crit skrieg, and he is about to deploy his uber charge. Activating the buff banner here gives unaware teammates a second chance, to start pushing with the medic, since the effect is very noticeable, because weapons will start glowing a light orange or an aqua color, which is very hard to miss, unless you are playing with minimized view models enabled. This will increase the team's overall chances of success trying to push through with the medic. Another way you can use the buff banner is to counter deploy your banner against an enemy soldier who has deployed his. Assuming he is using the conjurer or the buff banner, your team will mostly be able to competently fight against a banner push. If he is using the battalion's backup, however, you have pretty much just wasted your buff banner, since it has no effect on people under the effects of the backup. Another thing you should always remember to do, is to stick close to your teammates, whether they are on the objective or not. Being near the biggest crowd of people with an available buff banner is a surefire way, to maximize your 10 seconds of mini crits. Also, you should remember to deploy the buff banner alongside a friendly soldier deploying his conjurer or battalion's backup, as the effects of all three complement each other very nicely. Even if your team lacks a medic to try and organize a push, you can still manually initiate a push using the buff banner, because the weapon glows and auras around people, serve as a signal for pub players, to move the fuck up with their team, plus the effects are very noticeable. Now, the buff banner also needs some weapons to complement it, or add onto it, and I have quite a few options, that do exactly that. First, the black box is absolutely perfect for all of the banners. The health on hit effect does absolute fucking wonders keeping you alive and able to use your banner charges. 
the only real downside to using the black box is that you have one less shot and can't dish out as much damage, but the black box is otherwise a solid choice for the buff banner. The second option is the Beggar's Bazooka, which is a match made in heaven with the buff banner. The extremely high fire rate and burst damage potential of the Beggar's Bazooka combined with the buff banner makes it extremely potent at wiping out large crowds of enemies. The only real issue with using the beggars though is that you can't accurately predict where your shots will land and this makes it harder to use against single targets. Aside from those two, you also have stock, which is a fantastic weapon for general use, the direct hit, which you use to fuck up single targets, rather than large groups of enemies, the airstrike, which can sort of combo with the buff banner, if you're good at bombing and air strafing and the liberty launcher for that extra shot, although you will be dealing less overall damage than you would be with stock. The cow mangler is also a very good choice, if you're bad at ammo conservation and find yourself not having enough shots for a push. Melee is generally unimportant as soldier, but there are still some weapons you can use to generate rage with, if you somehow fancy that over your rocket launcher. The equalizer, while it has been shoved aside in favor of the escape plan is a good choice to deal large amounts of damage with and build your age faster. The escape plan is considered the meta choice for soldiers, as the increased speed with low health provides a very good way of getting the fuck out of a situation more hairy than medic's chest hair, and preserving your age. The meme spoon is also good, if you can troll your well and consistently land shovels, but I wouldn't particularly recommend it, unless you know how to rocket jump well. The disciplinary action however, is the best team support melee weapon out of the bunch, as you can play dominatrix and smack the asses of slower classes, like heavy and demo, and get them to the front faster. The disciplinary action is the best one for all around team play, as it can help your team immensely assuming your team lacks a teleporter. The speed boost it provides, is extremely useful, since it helps reinforce the front line much faster than without it, and will prevent that competitive demo with 3 pockets from wiping your entire team. Instead, he'll just wipe most of them. This is the correct way, to use the buff banner. Now go out there, and turn rolls into wins.